had called everyone together for a bit of a war room meeting. Yes, our numbers were growing, as was Fort Graves. It had become quite the sight to behold. If I can figure out, there we go. Aha, Fort Graves. It has become rather large and in charge. However, there was uh, some things that they needed to discuss. Vato had still not been able to figure out who was spreading these dastardly rumors about us, which was causing quite the dilemma as we attack the slave traders. Because the slaves that we're freeing are mostly outlaws, who we should be allied with. However, they have turned hostile against us. It's kind of hard to get them to join our ranks when they are uh, trying to fight us rather than let us set them free. Lucy is uh, still a bit agitated, chiming in that um, as we attack the slave traders, we should also be laying waste to the United Cities. However, this would put us in a two-pronged war, although the slave traders were a smaller faction. It would still be quite the nuisance to deal with. Kane feels that uh, all of the murder and destruction is not 100% necessary. There's definitely been cases where we could have let some of the slave traders who had been enslaved by their own allies perhaps join our ranks. Jade dismisses this. They made their choices. They were simply on the wrong side. And regardless of what their allies did to them, well, that was no business of ours. Leone chimes in, reminding us of the Crab Raiders. Although they were, uh, well, the cause of Leon losing his limbs, we haven't been able to exact revenge on them. We haven't been able to smite them with justice. And Leon is getting, uh, rather agitated about this. It's not even really on our to-do list, so to speak. But we will get around to it eventually, Leon. Jade makes sure that he is, uh, at least aware of that much. Soon, we would have to go back out. The question is, should everyone come with us? Or should some remain behind? To man Fort Graves to make sure that our enemies don't come here and burn down our fucking home like last time. As well as to continue trying to give us a steady supply of food. Lots of bread in our future. As for who would be staying behind and who would be coming with, well, that is to be determined. We will continue our fight against the slavers for now. There are still Port North, as well as uh, this stone camp, and Port South, as well as a South Stone Camp. It's uh, slow going, but we're we're doing it. We're getting rid of the slaves, one one slave camp at a time. Perhaps there are some allies. Vado suggests allies that may be interested in helping us take down the slavers. Jade's interest is piqued, and we may follow up on Vanto's suggestion. Uh, that was interesting. Um, this hungry, uh, hungry bandit came by asking us if we helped the starving, and I was like, sure, here's, uh, here's some money. And uh, then it said... Yeah, starving bandits are now our allies. We got it up past 50, so they're, they're now our allies. And now the bandit's saying, hello, friend. Um, it doesn't actually say how much I'm giving. Uh, take this. Thank you, friend. I'll make myself comfortable. What did I even give you? Did I give you anything? I guess you're just going to follow us around a little bit. That's cool. 
you're like a temporary companion, you can join us, you know. That's always an option, to join us. Become one of these Santa Muerta sluggers. Uh, whatever your name is. Do you, you don't have a name, you're just a hungry bandit. Hmm. Across some vagrants, perhaps Jade should talk to one of them. Um, maybe this one, see what they have to say. Obviously. Why are you bothering me, Outlander? Um, I mean, I could collect their bounty, I guess, but it's for the United Cities. And since we're going to be going to war with the United Cities, I suppose I'll let it slide. I don't need your, like, 3,000 bounty anyway. Vato had, uh, pulled Jade aside and told her that there was a group of individuals living somewhere out here near Flats Lagoon. Uh, somewhere in these mountains. Although we're having a really hard fucking time navigating. Oh, Zaid. Zaid. Why are you standing still? You're supposed to be going with everybody else. Get away from the fucking land bats. Um, it should be up in these mountains somewhere. Oh, now they want to run that way. I don't know which way they're going anymore. It's fine, as long as they don't get attacked. But, uh, Vato had, um, procured some information that, uh, here it is, Tin Fist, uh, with a 50,000 cat bounty on his head. It says, the Metal Brute's terror is soon to end. Will you be the hero of the innocent? I believe Tin Fist, if, um, if Vato's information, there's the, there's the thing. Alright, everybody go that way. I don't know why Jade, Bark, and Desi were going the complete wrong way with our Hiver bodyguard. But they're going the right way now. We're going to see about, um, I don't know, figuring out what these anti-slavers are, are doing. I mean, if they're called anti-slavers, they got to be, well, their goals are probably aligned with ours. For the most part, I imagine. Seeing as how we're currently freeing the fucking slaves. Yeah, I would say. I would say. Crew had finally made it. Vato instructed Jade to head on inside and seek out Tin Fist. Hopefully forging a new alliance. Uh, this appears to be Tin Fist right here. Welcome to the anti-slavers, sister. Um... I want to destroy the slave traders. Uh, I don't really know much about Tin Fist, so... I'm not here for his bounty, either. Who are you? My name is Tin Fist. I'm the leader of the anti-slavers. We devote our lives to freeing slaves and beating up slavers. Why do you guys mostly fight without weapons? Isn't that harder? I was taught by Gatwood, the soft. He was the founder of modern martial arts. Got his name by never killing anybody, despite being undefeated. After he died, I kept on with his no-killing tradition for 150 years. Then I sort of relapsed, but I, I still try to minimize loss of life whenever possible. Wow, we're kind of not the same at all, actually. When you can fight unarmed, nobody can ever disarm you. Even when you are naked and in chains, it's the perfect weapon for a slave. I want to destroy the slave traders. Don't we all? But they've got a lot of powerful allies. The Traders Guild and the United Cities. The nobles are the ones controlling the peasants, running the stone camps and using people like tools. But we can't just run in fist blazing. We need to fight tactically, sneakily. Wow, that's not what we've been doing at all. We, we've actually just been going in there and uh, fighting fists, well, bats blazing, so to speak. And it's been working out all right. I mean, we did lose Derp, but, I mean, 
We need to starve them out, deprive them of their precious cats, and make them pay in blood. See, that's kind of the idea Jade had by going after the slave camps, bolstering our numbers with freed slaves, while also fucking up our enemies. Alright, um, how do we do that? With our fists, pow pow smash. Okay, but I mean, like, how strategically? Oh, well, by pushing out their farmers. They've become dependent on their slaves. So we need to cut down the masters, starting with the camps. That will defuse the most damage for the capital. That would be the main source of food. The slave farm and hang, and their personal flow of income from the South Stone camp. See, Long Gan pay his way out of that. Any other weaknesses? And what about the innocents, the peasants? What about the slaves? Hundreds of innocent people are enslaved every day. And the same number of slaves are dying from overwork and starvation. You think you're going to save anybody by sitting around going, Oh no, careful now. Don't destabilize the existing system of slavery and starvation. Um, I mean, but the, the, the peasants didn't really do anything, you know, trying to minimize the, the damage. There's only one way to minimize damage, with fists. Uh, is there any other weaknesses? Longan and Kanan are main brains behind all slaver activity. They'd be a good couple of nobles to start on once we've hit their main supply, camps, and hang. Can I get some aid? Big Bo's our front line. She'll help you round up allies, if she deems you worthy enough fighter for her help. You can find her in Black Scratch. Got it, thanks for the info. Um... Can I not talk to you now? Did I join? I'm confused. Have I joined slave traders? I'm not slave traders. Anti-slavers? They're not our allies. I have not joined them. I don't understand. Did I mess up the thing? Who do you say to talk to? This guy? He croaks his voice in soft and quiet. Looks like we have a visitor. A good visitor or a bad, I wonder. Um, good, I hope. Then talk. What is it you want? Do we want to join them, though? Nothing. Hold on a second. Um, I don't know what happens exactly. I mean, I'm sure United Cities will fucking hate us. And I'm sure that, like, slave traders will obviously hate us. But, um, I want to join the, the anti-slavers. Well, an enemy of the slaver is a friend of the anti-slaver. But it isn't a decision to take lightly. You'd make allies with the anti-slavers. You'd make enemies with the Traitors Guild. You'll fight for people's freedom. Yet those very people will spit in, on you with that freedom. You'll fight for what is noble and high. But you'll live grim and low. At battle for a simple loaf of bread. It is the price we pay to fight for whatever we believe in. Is it a price you can pay? Sign me up, motherfucker. Then I'll spread the word. Relations with the United Cities decreased. United Cities are hostile. Eh, fuck them. Traders Guild. Eh, fuck them. We were already hostile with Traders Guild. Fuck you. Slave traders. Fuck them. We were already hostile with them. Anti-slavers are our allies. Good fucking deal to me. Then I'll spread the word, Jade. Don't give up the fight for freedom. We've got your back. Alright, welcome to the anti-slavers. They're now our allies. Oh, look at that. More green on the map. That's what I like to see. Oh yeah, that's right. We are allied with the tech hunters. That's awesome. Ah, oh, but the United Cities. Hmm. Well, you know what? The cities of Clownstead and Catoon might be ripe for the fucking reaping if I do say so uh, they're relatively close and 
Honestly, it's difficult getting past the acid rain over here in Black Desert City. That does cause problems. Although, Black Scratch is all... That's Tech Hunters. He said there was somebody in Black Scratch. Brink is owned by the United Cities? I didn't even realize. Oh, that sucks. I don't know why these haven't turned some other color other than red by now. Oh, fuck. It's going to be rough fighting all these goddamn... All these fucking cities. This is a bunch of bullshit. Alright, well... I guess we're enemies with the United Cities already. Uh, I didn't think I was going to do that so soon. And going to war with all three at the same time, like, oh, fuck. Well, we'll see how that goes. Dilemma. Um, we have, uh, uh, where is it? Fucking Empire Attack moving toward Fort Graves. So... I'm pretty sure that's United Cities. Uh, allied reinforcements are coming. Bandit demands are apparently also coming, so whatever. But yeah, United Cities is attacking us. Um, the unfortunate thing is we were way the fuck down here, and uh, we kind of had to go all the way up here, and they have already made it right here, despite our best efforts to get there in time. So... Whoever's at Fort Graves, which I think is just a skeleton crew, really, of mostly Hivers, um, hmm, I don't think we're going to get there in time, and this is kind of a dangerous stretch, there's a lot of big things along the way too, so, unless the AI makes them do some weird loop-de-loop, -loop, might be a bit of a problem. The uh, United Cities is almost at our fucking doorstep, so I guess it's time to check back in over here and um, see exactly what's going on. Looks like they're going to approach from this gate. Yep, there they are off in the fucking distance. Oh, that's quite a few of them. Oh, that's Fogmen. What? I guess they're further. Oh. Oh, that's even more. No. Fuck. Okay. Um. I thought we had allies here. We're just gonna go ahead and fucking close this gate and let them figure out how to get in here. Not gonna make it easier on them. Everybody else, you all need to get the fuck over here. From, uh, way the fuck over there. Good luck. Godspeed. Um, it's too bad they didn't fight those fog men. That would have been handy. Oh, wait. No, no, that is, um, uh, is there like a leader? Yeah, the war leader in charge of the entire army. We don't actually have turrets or anything. You think anyone who disrespects the Empire ever lives to tell the tale? Um, I'm gonna say... Probably not. We're all gonna hide in here. Well, actually, I guess they could get in through there. Um... Everybody, uh, everybody get to the back gate, and then we might emergency exit, because the Empire never forgets. I'm gonna burn your fucking cities. Oh, uh, where are they going? Are they gonna go all the way around? I don't understand what they're doing here. Oh, fuck, what? Oh, Really? Interesting. Um, that's a f that that's a bit of an oopsie. I don't know what the fuck. Oh boy. That uh, okay. Uh, we're just gonna we're gonna fuck off. 
Uh, Ben, you might want to... Bit no. I don't know what you guys are doing. Um, we have mercenaries here. Are they going to fight for us? The contracts run out? I mean, they're fighting. So I guess it's cool. Um... Yeah, you guys go fight. Defend your home. Oh boy. Oh, the narco saints. Where's Kane? Why is Leon all the way over here? Why is Kane unconscious? Bark. Oh, everybody. Everybody, please. Just go over here. How about Kane? There's shit going down at home. There's no time for this. Bin, you gotta prove yourself. Prove your might, Bin. You're one of the tallest. And then don't forget Wall. Good old Wall. He lost his two arms for us. Most of our hivers actually have lost left arms. That's very concerning. Come on, you gotta defend your new home. Only you can protect it. You ignoring me? Motherfucker, we're, we're at war, we're fighting. Keep ignoring me and you're... What do you mean? Who's ignoring him? Oh, everybody's... Everybody's going down. Oh, no. You... You get the fuck out of here. What are you doing? You stupid asshole. Fucking run away. Oh, you son of a bitch. You're not supposed to get taken out. God damn it. Where's our mercenaries? Oh, there's so many of them. Allies were defeated on their way. Defeated by what? You motherfuckers. Nobody's on the way? Oh, bullshit. All right. Jade and company have to get back home right now. We need we need to get back home. Go everybody, please. Why aren't you going? The empire attack ended. Fuck. Is anybody gonna... Oh no, Bin is dying. Oh, Hexy's dying. Tone is dying. Sierra's dying. Son of a bitch. Oh, nobody's gonna be able to get up and heal. Alright. Um... I don't know what the fuck to do about that. Jade is fast. Jade could probably get back home. Um, but then what the fuck is Jade going to do once she gets back home? Alright, put down the crab. Kane. Put down. And Lucy. Put down a wood. And then you three are gonna fucking book it back home. And everybody else. Um, Uwood, really? Ugh, God damn it. Uh, go pick up Uwood. Go pick up these two. And then, um, we'll have you guys also head that way. Just send fucking everybody that way, except you three fucking run that way. Alright? Everybody got it? No. You're not running. Fucking run that way, please. K. 
can you just run that way? Run. Everyone fucking go. Holy shit. Why is this so complicated for you to understand? Alright, get rid of this. I don't fucking need it. Oh, I should have just dropped these backpacks off. You're going to be over encumbered anyway. You're not going to get there very fucking fast. Lucy, it's all up to you. You're the fastest, apparently. Oh, and you're getting shot in the leg, Lucy. Awesome. I mean, it's not your fault. You know, the bandits decided to attack you. Um. Oh, great. Awesome. Carl. Son of a bitch. They're just gonna fucking hang out, aren't they? Tell me these assholes are leaving. Please. Jesus Christ, Carl. Carl, we need you so badly. Alright, who's the worst? Hexy's really bad. Um, Tone's pretty bad. Sierra's the worst. Where's Sierra? Uh, Carl, I need you to really heal Sierra. No, 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 no. Go away. Go away, you son of a bitch. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck are they doing here? Alright, get back out there. You gotta heal, Sierra. Sierra's gonna fucking die. Tone is really bad. Come on. Hexy really needs to get healed too. Heal Hexy first. Because that's a chest wound. I think that's worse. Nico, heal yourself. You stupid bastard. Take all the fucking shit. I don't care. Actually, heal Dave. Oh, no, 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 you motherfucker. Carl, you gotta run. Oh, Nico, no. Nico can't run away. Fuck. Heal Dave. Carl. <laughs> Carl, you gotta save this asset. This asset is fucking paramount. You must save this asset. Get in the building, Carl. Please. It's the only way. Get in there and shut the door. Fucking lock it. Go upstairs. I don't know. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Run away. Tone. Hexy. Hexy's gonna die, guys. No. Wall, heal up Hexy. Oh, you're all so fucked. Alright, Nico, he's just unconscious now. Maybe you should go heal Tone.
Josh. No. No, Josh. Josh, you can't die. Oh, ribs, no. Ribs. Oh, fuck, Ben is dying. <laughs> Where are the narco saints? For fuck's sake. We need a hero. <laughs> we need a goddamn miracle. Alright, Carl. Put the asset down. Now that you've patched yourself up, you gotta go out there and fucking save the day, Carl. Carl, I said it in a previous episode. You're the best of us. God damn it. If we survive this, Carl, it'll be thanks to you. Does Dave still need help? It's gonna be alright, Dave. Recovery coma. Oh my god. Critical, though. Here, go uh, heal up Josh. Wow. I didn't think we were actually going to survive that. I think Wall's left arm is fucked. It's pretty fucked, but he's got robot arms anyway. So it's probably fine. I, I, th I was so for sure somebody was going to die. I guess it's still possible. I don't know where the fuck the enemies went. I guess they just left. I mean, when we had that Crab Raider situation, they tried to take the base over. Why is there just a bunch of wheat straw there? That's weird. Are you really going to fight me right now? Who the fuck even are you, Dust Boss? Why do I have the option to heal you? I don't think that was the I don't think that was supposed to happen. All right, you guys get the fuck over there. Please. Everybody get the fuck over there. But especially you guys run the fuck over there. And Lucy should be the one to get there first. Lucy will be getting on that scene with her giant ass backpack. How does she carry it? Nobody knows. Here you go, Lucy. Now you just have it in your pocket. That's better, right? I mean, it looks a lot lighter. Are you really trying to check my bags? I don't even have a bag on anymore. I just stuffed it in my fucking pocket. What are you going to do about it? Nothing, because you can't catch Lucy. Lucy's fast as fuck. 26 miles per hour, motherfucker. Only a negative one? And that's because of what? armor penalty fucking light ass armor but apparently Lucy it's too heavy maybe it's your hat yeah it's cause it's medium armor or maybe it's your giant crossbow on your back you don't really need that I'd probably get rid of it why does Jade keep getting attacked by this lone dust bandit this, this one fucking like hero of the story you know it turned out Jade was actually the villain all along. Spoilers. I don't know if you saw that coming when I was burning people alive at the stake or planning to crucify people. But, um, yeah, the, the lone dust bandit is just the fucking hero of the story. And now he's about to die. They have no idea. See, we've duped the guards of the shack. We made them think that that dust bandit was assaulting us. But really, we were the threat. We were the ones... The dust bandit we're trying to stop. And then we, uh, well, lured him to his death, I suppose. He didn't have to follow me. He could have just left me the fuck alone, but now he had to chase after me for some reason. Some weird obsession with justice. And justice against the Santa Muerta. Against death. Ah, back home. The only reason anyone's alive is thanks to good old Carl. My god, Carl. Is there a way to... Hmm. 
Hmm, is there a way for me to assign you to put people into bed? Is that a, is that a thing, Carl? Because I honestly don't know. But we're going to find out in a second here, because I got some beds in here. It's like the barracks, I guess. We're going to see if I can just assign you to... Can you do that? No. Hold on. Maybe if I get you out of bed and pick up Josh. What if I hold it down? And then no? Nothing? Alright. Awesome. Good to know. Alright, Carl. You did you did good, Carl. You can get some rest. It's cool. Um everybody else is pretty fucked. Uh Wall can crawl his ass over there and Nico. Go ahead. Meanwhile, since you're here, Lucy, why don't you go ahead and start helping your friends? Um putting them in bed. Is there a bed in here? No. I got some beds randomly around here, because it's kind of like living spaces, I suppose. I guess the small shacks would be their houses. It's not as if they need anything too glamorous over here, you know. We do got a barracks. Get you in the bed, Hexy. I want you to die. I wonder when everyone else is going to get back. We should have tons of food now. Our little excursion got us quite a lot, unless we got raided again. That's uh, that's one of the really kind of annoying things is the black dragon ninjas. I might I might go like kill them just to stop them from raiding, cause their raids are the just so fucking annoying. They show up with like twenty to forty people. I don't know. And then they all bum rush your fucking base. And they go right for your food storage. And then they fill their pockets up. They just shove as much of your food into their fucking pockets as they can. And then they run around. And after the fight, you then gotta go through like 20 plus people's inventory to get your food just so you can go and put it back into your storage bin. It's such a hassle. It's so unnecessary. And you know what? If there's ever a fucking reason to kill somebody, I'm not I'm not advocating for it, but in a fictional video game of Kenshi, you know, the world of uh goddamn Shek people and Bugman and fucking ninja, actual goddamn ninja running around. All right? I think it's okay. I think we can find some uh, some validation in it. You know? It's not that serious. Okay, so it took the rest of the group a hot minute to get back to base. I wasn't really keeping an eye on the front. So I'm not sure. It looks like uh, maybe the United Cities just kind of fucked off after they whooped everybody's ass. Um, they were just kind of hanging out in front, but now they, yeah, I guess they're gone. Obviously, we need to do some renovations on these walls because there's some, uh, discrepancies with our defenses. And maybe set up some sort of kill box of a sorts with, uh, harpoon turrets. Yes. Oh my god, I found a pacifier for the fucking... For the outlaws, it turns out it's the peasant pacifier that counts towards the outlaws. I didn't think there was such a thing, but that's awesome. Uh, the outlaws travel. I can smooth things over for a price. Okay, how much? Twenty thousand. Uh, for twenty? You're a fool. Twenty thousand for twenty? What's my fucking? Oh shit. What is, what is my, uh, faction relation with the outlaws? It's negative 80. 20's not gonna do shit. 
Yeah, whatever. Fucking 20,000. Consider it done. Come back to me with that little cat sack of yours. You screw up again. Alright. And now the Outlaws is still at negative 87. Excuse me? Um... I'm done for the day. Still need something to come back tomorrow. Wait a minute. Relation with the Empire Peasants improved by 20? You said you'd give me relations with the Outlaws. Empire Peasants? The fuck? Is that its own thing? It's its own thing. Why were they hostile with me? the fuck was that about? Alright, never mind. Yeah, he clearly said outlaws, but I guess he meant the peasants. Well, our people had made uh, so much grog. Well, specifically Ribs has made so much grog. Is he stuck again? No, okay. That, um, we just physically could not carry it all with just Jade, Kane, and, uh, Lucy. Oh, there we go. Uh, Jade, Kane, and Lucy could not carry all this grog, so we're going to have to take uh, Nate with us. Nate is one of the newer recruits. I'm sure he's real psyched that he gets to go and uh, sell this fucking grog to one of the nearby towns. We're going to have, uh, have you all go the same speed. Just because Nate cannot... Well, how strong is Nate, actually? He's been here for a little bit. He's got, he's got decent little stats here, but goddamn. Jade. 91 strength. Gotta get it to 100. 